Yo, how's it going guys? It's Blob Naughty Cuber here. Welcome back to a video. I'm super excited for this video because I have got a experimental version of a program. So this is Keyboard Speed Cube. This is being developed by Hackdar CE in the Hypercuber Discord server, which you guys should all join. Link in the description below. He is developing this amazing program that is currently in this um, beta like prototyping stage and it's really, really cool. So today we're gonna check this program out. All right, so these might change, but here are the um, current controls. Yes, I did print this out just so that my brain would like, so I don't have to look at the keyboard and stuff. But anyway, so we have this Rubik's 3D here, which is also fun to play with. There's the 4D Rubik's cube, which I'm super excited about. And then there's frames a sec, blah, blah, blah. And then down here there's theta, which is like, the view angle, four dimensional FOV, which does that. Oh my gosh, that's that's amazing. Oh, that's weird, why does it do that? Negative FOV, oh, that's weird. But yeah, and there's also scale, which, yep, that's like just how far it is. Oh, I can make it bigger for you guys. Okay, that's awesome. Then there's face spacing. Mmm, yes, oh, yes. Um, about there is good, maybe. Sticker spacing also, so. Make it like look more like a Rubik's Cube or very far impossible challenge if you want. I'll go about there and then opacity for some reason. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now I really want to like learn the controls. All right, so let's see. So we have Y and Y prime rotations with my pinky fingers on the keyboard. So that's cool. And then Z and Z prime uh, above them with my pinky fingers also. And then your left hand controls what cell you're facing. So I'll put up the picture on screen right now, but basically you have the names of the eight cells with your left hand, then your right hand does the XYZ rotations. It's an XYZ rotation notation, which is pretty cool like this. So it highlights it, which is really cool. Magic Cube 4D doesn't have this feature. This is this is amazing. I wonder how fast the, how much faster the world records can get with this. If we're holding like the, um, the right cell, we press space bar and it re-centers it. So that is cool. Let's see if I can do some RKT. R that way, U, and then uh, R prime, and then this way, and then U, and then this way, and then up, and then, uh, uh, this way, and then U2, this way, that way, and then uh, down. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, I wonder how fast I could get that if I like practiced, that would be so amazing. All right, and then to get this scrambled, what we have to do is we open up um, Magic Cube 4D here, and we do scramble full. And then that does a scramble and then we're gonna have to save it as a log file. All right, and now that I put that in the correct folder, I just scroll up here and I sh this should work. Yes, he's a genius. This puzzle, this program's amazing. Yeah, using Rue might be like extremely painful because there's no like slice moves. I guess I can do wide moves and then non-wide moves in the other direction, like how, like that, but that would work. By the way, this is a GAN cube that I bought from thecubicle.com. Uh, this video was sponsored by thecubicle.com. They have amazing puzzles. You can use discount code Blobinati to save 5% off your order. Uh, link in the description, go buy from thecubicle.com. Yes, I'm sponsored, thank you. Okay, besides that, let's actually just get into this. All right, so we have the yellow center there. I guess I'll try to do CFOP, even though I'm like not very good at CFOP, because so I just practice Roo, because I use Roo. And then for this purple one, which is, oh yes, I can highlight ridges. So wait, so if I do um, F and R, you can highlight like certain planes. So that purple one in the middle there, purple white, um, I can put that on if I rotate the inner cell like this and then rotate the front cell like that, this and then put this back, put that back. And is that correct? It looks like it's correct. All right, there we go. Oh wait, no, I forgot what piece. There's a white and green piece somewhere. Let me press that. Yes, 
I think, yes, I built the cross. Good job, me. Cool, okay, so now I can put the cross on the outside in four dimensions and let's just make some F12 pairs. All right, I have this, my um, first F12 pair here. So if I go like, see that red line? That's the red, purple, white. So the first move is we're gonna bring it up and away from the slot, which is like, which is like that. Then we're gonna bring the slot itself up. Then we're gonna put it down and put it down. And that's the F12 F F pair. Probably not gonna solve the whole thing, but it was really fun to check out this program. All right, here we have a 3D Rubik's Cube. Let's see if I can adjust um, this. I can, okay. And so I guess I can kind of just um, button mash to like scramble it. Yes, that's that works, amazing. Yeah, I did the white cross. And then boom, boom. All right, let's do the F12. Ooh, we got a free pair. R, U2, hello, uh, U2, R prime, boom. And then insert like um, uh, uh, this, boom, F12, easy. Third F12 pair going in, boom. And then the fourth one is, uh, right there, so we'll just go like like this, um, and then insert, nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, I have a Y perm. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. F, R, um, R, boom, 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 uh, boom, R prime, F prime. Prime. And then sexy, just sexy moving sledge. R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime U two uh U two. I did it. Yeah, nice, cool. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out this program and stay updated. I had a lot of fun checking it out. Go check out the Hypercubers Discord server and thank you for HackedRCE for letting me show this off in a video. Links to his um, GitHub and stuff will be in the description. Go check that out too. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and have a nice day.